What are sets? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said kanina, itong ating intro to sets na lecture. And uh, before we do that, just a quick little plug. If you want to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education in the Philippines, one way to do that would be to buy our merch sa shop.teamlaika.com. That is where I post yung mga hoodies, mugs, shirts, at iba iba pang mga merch that I designed for this team. So for those of you na nakabili na, maraming salamat sa inyo. At sa mga bibili pa lang, maraming salamat din. Another way that you can do that would be through channel membership. So if you don't know about that yet. The link is here sa the I bought a new video explaining how that works. All right. But again, even if you don't, that's okay. All of this we make for you. Ako, uh, the entire team, at of course, yung mga channel MVPs, members, at rookies natin. So, salamat ng marami sa inyo. And now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so sa video na ito, this is a bit of an introduction lang muna dun sa topic ng sets. We're going to talk about kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng set, ano ba yung elements, and yung equality then and equivalence. Okay? But again, this is just the first part of a series, so don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss the next lesson. Okay? Now, dito muna tayo sa simple definition ng sets. Ang um, definition ng sets is this. It's a collection of distinct objects or elements. Now, Himayin natin ng konti. Sabi dito dapat, they are distinct. Pag sinabing distinct, ibig sabihin, magkakaiba-iba sila. For example, if we have a group and meron siyang laman na mga smileys, as you can see, even if pare-pareho silang mga smileys or emojis, magkakaiba-iba sila. Kasi again, distinct objects, which we call elements. So, ibig sabihin, ang bawat isa na ito, element sila. Okay? Noong set na ito. Now, sa pagsusulat or sa pagnonotate ng set, we use this. So, kung ito ang set A, okay, we can write it as this. A is equal to, and then we open yung bracket, list everything down na laban ng set, and then close the bracket. Okay, ganyan siya isulat. Now, maliban dun sa pagkakasulat natin na yun, marami pang ibang mga symbols na ginagamit sa notation. Okay? Itong first one is what we use for an empty set or a null set. Ang ibig sabihin ng empty set or null set is that this is a set that doesn't contain anything. Okay? So, meron kang open bracket, close bracket, pero walang laman yung set. If it is an empty set, ibig sabihin nun, ito yung ginagamit nating symbol. Okay? So, again, bilog siya na may slash. Now, ito namang... Parang curved na I na to. So, it's basically a curve like that and then naka-strike through siya. Yan ang symbol for element of. Mukha naman siya din I, di ba? So, element of. Kapag yung number na yon or yung um, kung ano man yun, if it's a shape, if it's uh, something you wear, if it's an animal, ay bahagi ng set na yon Now, kapag siya ay naka-slash, Diba? May recurring pattern dito na kapag naka-slash, ibig sabihin negative siya. Ibig sabihin, pag naka-slash yung E, it is not an element of that set. Okay? Now, how do we um, how do we see it ng mas malinaw? We can look at this right here. Okay? So, parang ito yung drawing, no? So, meron kang set. Yes, pero wala siyang laman. Again, kung wala siyang laman, ibig sabihin nun, kung ito ang set A, at walang laman yung ating brackets, yung set A is a null set or an empty set. Okay? Now, paano naman kung ito yung set B? May mga numbers ka. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 sa loob ng set. At kung ito ang set B, we can write yung elements niya. Now, here's something to note. Hindi naman, uh, hindi naman ibig sabihin na sinulat ko siya ng in order. Ay, walang mga sets na hindi in order. Okay? Or increasing yung value ng mga elements na laman niya. I just like writing it down ng mas malinaw. Kaya ganyan yung itsura niya. Okay? And, ang nakalagay dito is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as the elements of set B. Again, nandun siya sa loob. Lahat sila ay nasa loob ng set B. Now, kung titignan natin yung number 2, 
Dahil ang number 2 ay nandito sa loob ng set B, ibig sabihin pwede natin isulat that 2 is an element of set B. Notice then na yung set natin ay capital let letters. Now, if we look at the number 7 naman, dahil wala ang 7 sa loob nung bilog, 7 is not an element of set A. And 7 is also not an element of set B. Okay? Wala siya sa pareho. Okay? So, again, tingnan lang muna natin yung symbols natin that we have already. Brackets for the set. Doon nilalagay sa loob yung nandun. Capital letters na naka-italicize naka para doon sa mga set names natin. And then, yung E na yan for the element and E na may slash for if it's not an element of that set. Okay? Now, dito na tayo sa susunod. We have this, obvious, familiar tayo dyan, pero ito hindi natin masyadong alam. Now, ano ba ibig sabihin ng equal at saka equivalent pag-usapan ng sets? Okay, now tingnan na natin to Again, sabi natin yung set is a collection of distinct ob objects or elements. Ito siya. Kung isusulat natin siya, pwedeng ganito. Now, let me introduce to you something. It's called yung order or cardinality of a set. Anong ibig sabihin nun? It's basically the number of elements na laman ng isang set. Okay? So, anong ibig sabihin nun? If you look at yung ating uh, example right here, okay, meron siyang 1, 2, 3, 4 distinct elements. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang cardinality or order nitong set na to ay 4. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, bakit nagma-matter yung order or yung cardinality pagdating sa equality tsaka uh, equivalence ng mga sets? Kasi, we define yung equal as a set na eksakto yung number at kung sino rin yung kanyang mga elements as in exactly the same. Pero yung equivalent naman ay if they have the same number of elements but hindi sila exactly the same elements. If that sounds complicated, it's okay. Hihimay naman natin yon. Ganito lang siya. Yung equal sets are sets that contain the same elements. As in, as exactly the same elements. Yung equivalent sets, which is marked by this, okay, symbol right here, it's what you call the tilde. Um, ito yung may same cardinality or number of elements. Kung meron akong ganito, okay, tatlong Sets. We have set A, set B, and set C. Now, in set A, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, set B, you have 3, 5, 1, 2, and 4. Pero, if you notice, nandun yung 1, nandito yung 2, nandito yung 3, nandito yung 5, nandito yung 4. Ibig sabihin, pareho sila ng number, or pareho sila ng order, or cardinality, parehong 5, and pareho rin ang bawat element na laman nito. So, in that case, a and B are equal sets. So, again, imamark natin siya by the symbol na ganito. A and B are equal. Okay? Now, tingnan naman natin yung relationship naman daw ng B at C. Now, yung B, you have numbers. C, you have emojis. Again, kahit na iba yung, yung laman ng letter C, the same rule applies. Bibilangin natin sila. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ibig sabihin... Ang kanyang cardinality is 5. At ito rin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 din siya. So, kahit na hindi eksaktong magkakapareho yung elements niya, since pareho sila ng cardinality, pasok sila sa definition ng equivalent sets. So, ang B at saka C, they are equivalent sets. Okay? Now, tinan natin yung C at saka A naman. So, yung C, again, alam natin, 5 ang laman. Yung A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 din ang laman. So, again, pareho sila ng, ng cardinality, pareho ng order, pero hindi pareho ang laman ng sets. Ibig sabihin, ganun din sila. They are also equivalent sets. Okay? What matters, again, is yung dami or size ng isang set. Pag tinanong din kayo ng set size, yun din siya. Okay? Now, tingnan na natin yung ating quick quiz. Okay? This is a really simple warm-up 
para sa set, sa set series natin. So, ang gagawin nyo lang is look at the sets given and then tell us kung ano yung relationship ng elements to the sets or ng sets to the other sets. Alright? If you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. Okay, so let's answer the first one. Sabi dito, yung 2 daw at yung set A. Now, if you look at this example right here, meron kang set A, tapos meron ding 2, yung element na 2, nandoon siya sa A, check tayo doon. So, dahil pasok siya doon, or nandun siya sa set na yon, ilalagay natin yung symbol ng element. Kasi 2 is an element of set A. Okay? Next, we're going to look at the, the element na 9. Sa set na C. Set C, okay, wala siyang 9. So, ibig sabihin nun, hindi siya element ng set C. The symbol would be like this, okay, with a slash. Okay? Next, we have the number 3 and set B. Number 3 is there. So, ibig sabihin, element siya ng set B. Okay? And then, 2 sa D. Now, yung D, wala siyang nakabracket na numbers, pero ang nakalagay yung description ng set. Sabi, D is the first five positive odd numbers. So, kung isusulat natin yung set D, that would be first five positive odd numbers. One is an odd number. We have three. Okay. We have five and seven. Tapos, one, two, three, four. We have nine. Okay, so first five odd numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So yung 2 ba, nandun siya? So wala siya dun. So ibig sabihin, 2 is not an element of set D. Now dito tayo sa next one. Sabi 10 is an element or not of set B. Now tignan natin set B, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Wala siya dun. So ibig sabihin, hindi siya element ng set B. Dito na tayo sa mga sets, no? You have D and B. Ang tanong, equal ba sila or equivalent? Now, you look at uh, letter D or yung set B natin dito. You have 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Yung B, exactly the same. 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So, ibig sabihin, hindi lang sila equivalent. They are actually equal. So, D, set D and set B are equal. Now, set A naman tsaka D. Now, yung set A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Set D, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So, hindi sila equal. Pero, dahil ang number ng elements nito ay 5, at itong uh, number of elements is 5 din, ibig sabihin, they are equivalent. Okay? Now, tinan natin yung B at saka A. We have here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Again, magkaiba sila. But, pareho rin silang 5. 
Ang naman ng elements are cardinality. So, these are equivalent sets. Okay? So, I hope you got all of these correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account. So, if you don't follow me yet, follow me at Laika Marivilla on Instagram and at Team Laika din on Instagram for the throwback questions and announcements sa mga upcoming events natin. And if you're on TikTok, you can also follow me at Team Laika for the math, English videos, and other educational content. And at Laika Marivilla naman for the personal content, uh, mga sneak peek sa aking kakulitan in real life, and of course, yung mga motivational advice and tips. Alright? See you online. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and lalo na exam din sila. That way, yung salami tayo matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get reviewers that I may join the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that bell icon and turn your no notifications on para hindi nyo mamiss yung mga paparating pa lang ng mga lessons. Marami pa tayong pag-uusapan soon. And I hope to see you there. Alright? So, as we always see sa channel to, never stop learning. Aja-aja. Kain yan. I'll see you in the next video. And bye for now.